Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to register a domain name using AWS. So here I am in the AWS Management Console, if this is your first time in AWS you need to register for an account first. Once you log into your account, you're gonna find your recently visited services here, so you can quickly click on root 53, but if it's not here you can simply type root 53 in the search bar. And root 53 as you can see here below, it's a scalable DNS and domain name registration service, it lets you register domains, it also has features that allow you to create endpoint that you can road users to certain applications if they had the certain endpoint. But we are not going to get too much into the details of root 53 here, I'm just going to show you how to create your domain. So once you get to the dashboard page here, we're going to go to the left where it says registered domains and I'm going to click on registered domains. Right, so I don't have any domain registered on this account, if you have a domain from another provider maybe something like GoDaddy, you can transfer that over AWS pretty easily by clicking transfer domain up over here. But since we don't have one of those we are going to register from scratch, so I'm going to click on register domain. So the next step here is to choose a domain name, so whatever you're looking for this is where you put it in. So mine is called AWS test. And now over here on the right you can pick one of the suffix that you want, notice that there is a different prices here for each one, so like .com was $15, but normal .com is a $12, it's depending on what you pick. This is the yearly cost so keep that in mind when you are picking this. I'm just gonna leave that as calm right now because when you click on check here it's gonna give you a list of domains that are available. I happen to know that awsdesk.com is already unavailable. But looking here down below, we can see here these are some of the open options that are still available, so awsdatatest.com, awstest.me, another option is awstest.tv, I'm actually gonna go with me and notice here that it's actually $25 per year. I want you to decide the combination of your domain name and your suffix, then you go ahead and click on add to cart. Now over here on the right it just gonna ask if you want to sign up for one year or more years. I'm just gonna sign up for one year. There is no need for me to do more. Now we gonna scroll down and go and click on continue. Now at this point it asking us for some contact information and you can select depending on what you are. This is for person, a company, an association, or public body. You need to fill all this information here and then go all the way down to the bottom. Make sure that you have this enabled for privacy protection, that means that people that are just running who has checks on your domain are not going to be able to see all this information that you vend out, that's something you should worry about. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and fill out all this different information here and I click on continue and bring it to the next page when I'm all done. Ok so I filled all my information and I clicked on continue at the bottom of the page. At this point it's just gonna show you some confirmation details about what you filled in the form. So down here, under managing DNS for your domain, this is basically just telling you that it's going to set up a hosted zone, we don't need to care about that right now. This setting down here asks you if you want have all over new, on or off, I'm gonna keep it as disabled. The next step is to just acknowledge the terms and conditions, I had to suggest to take a quick look at this and read it through just so you know what you are getting into. So at this point, what I need to do is go ahead and click on complete order once you have verified all the details of your registration, you should be good to go. Then after that you will be directed to the next page telling you that your order is successfully submitted and what to do next.